to another episode of Triple M, Manners Maketh Man. In this fitness video, I want to talk about two specific things, training days and BMI. Let's start off with BMI, Body Mass Index. Now, Body Mass Index gives you more of a, or less of an idea if you are overweight, obese, or underweight, or just right. But it doesn't always work. Now, to give you the formula quickly of how BMI works, you take your weight, then you divide it by your height squared. Okay, so then you get a number. Now, if you are under 18.5, they say you are underweight. When you get a reading between 18.5 towards 24.9, you are in the normal range. Anything between 24, uh, 25 and 30 is considered overweight and everything about 30 is considered obese. Now again, I would like to tell you, yes, it's a good consideration of if you are overweight or not, but there's certain people, let's take Dwayne Johnson, According to his BMI, he's weighing 13 kilograms and he's 1.93 meters high. If you work out, he is considered obese. Yes, that muscular guy, he's considered obese. Don't stress if it says you are overweight, etc. like that. According to my BMI, I'm also a bit overweight. I need to be in the ranges of um, between uh, 82 and 90 kilograms. I am 192 centimeters, 1.92 meters. I need to be t uh, between 82 and 88. Currently, I weigh 95 kilograms. And so I'm considered overweight. But just to get that framework to see if you need to start losing weight or start picking up weight. Last week, we took the measurements of uh, Armand, the guy that's starting to pick up weight. He is far underweight. He needs to pick up lots, like 20 kilograms at least, in lean muscle to just be considered within, the, uh, within his BMI. So that's how BMI works. The second one is training days. Whenever you start off with exercising, if you are a newbie and you are the first time going to gym, starting out at home, you don't have to kill yourself. Yes, you are gonna have um, stiffness and pain the next day after your first gym session. Do not skip gym when you are feeling sore. After the first week, second week, it's gonna start feeling better and you are gonna be able to do more and be more active in life. The first start is gonna be a struggle, but you can do it, I know it. When you start out, start with three full body workouts per week. Do not exceed this, just do three full body workouts a week. And if you feel challenged, do a bit of cardio during the week as well. Either on each of the training days, a 20 minute cardio session, or go full out with a 40 minute cardio session on a separate day. When you are feeling a bit more advanced, you can start splitting up doing upper body and lower body twice a week, each of them. So twice a week you're doing upper body, meaning triceps, uh, biceps and chest and shoulders. And the other um, times you're doing core and your legs. So then you split it up, two days upper body, two days a lower body. Remember to give your body time to heal. One upper body, one lower body, one upper body, one lower body. Do not exercise the same muscle within 48 hours. Your muscles do not grow in the gym. It grows while you are resting. So please do not overtrain. And then when you're starting to move over to the next step, from Monday to Friday, you can, uh, I'm currently in that set. Um, on Monday, I am doing my triceps with my chest. On Tuesdays, I'm doing full legs. On Wednesdays, I am doing my biceps with my back. On Thursdays, I'm doing legs again because legs are very important to release testosterone into your body. I'm doing a um, leg session again and I'm doing my shoulders. And then on Friday, I'm doing core and full blast of cardio. 
I will be giving examples of each of these during the next few sessions and what you can do to get started. But that's the basics of exercising days and BMI. Thank you for tuning in to Triple M, Manners Maketh Man. You're worth it.